We tried to break it down and kind of set people up for the weekend. Beach day, movie day, barbecue day. <laughs> Something for everyone. We're right? on pace for that. And yeah, Versatility. We'll change of pace every day. Uh, today, of course, very warm outside for this time of year. We had highs in the 80s and 90s, taunting all the way up to 93 degrees this afternoon for a high temp. And even across Cape Cod, 81 in Falmouth, 76 in Chatham. Great day to head to the shore. And we don't always get those on Memorial Day weekend. Last year, the warmest temp for the three day stretch was 67 degrees in Boston. So today, Today, our ninth 80 degree day of this month. Since records moved to Logan in 1936, only one other month has had more 80 degree days to this point, and that was back in 1977. And at Blue Hill Observatory, this is the fifth warmest May on record through today. With the forecast going forward, it will have a shot at the top three. So it's been an unusually warm month and uh, certainly a complete change from what we saw in April. Big picture, tons of heat across the country, real nasty stuff across the middle of the nation. We also have our subtropical storm, Alberto, which is in the Gulf of Mexico. And for us, we are eyeing this cold front, which is sagging southward, and it's going to bring a big air mass change for us as we head into tomorrow. Just starting to get it across northeastern Massachusetts. Massachusetts, Essex County falling into the 70s. Portsmouth is now down to 70. Very warm inland, but we'll see that cooler air move its way southwest as the evening goes on. This is also the zone we'll be watching for the highest rain risk over the next few hours. Southeastern New Hampshire and down into Essex County. The beach probably empty now across the seacoast locations and up toward the York County beaches. We've got some thunder and lightning around Raymond and Kingston, and this is heading uh, right on down toward the Newburyport area. So certainly expect some rains and rumbles. Hollis and Nashua seeing a pop-up downpour. This could fill in across the Merrimack Valley in the next 45 minutes, so expect some rain there. Otherwise, we'll be watching those temperatures and northeast winds starting to make their way back toward Connecticut by 10 o'clock. We're all in the 60s. The clouds have filled in, and we'll continue to see some rain activity here, especially north of Boston. Tomorrow will be locked into the clouds. It's a little bit damp outside. There'll be some spotty drizzle, chance for a couple of showers. It's just a really cool day stuck in the 50s. So certainly going to be a massive swing for us compared to today's summer warmth. Good news perhaps though for the run to remember in Boston. Mid 50s, a little bit of drizzle, cool. It's better than heats and should be an excellent morning for a long run around the city of Boston. Our high is generally 55 to 60 with an east-northeast wind tomorrow. So if you're at the beach, it might be a board game kind of day. We're talking about 56 for a high, 10 to 25 miles per hour out of the east-northeast. So it will be pretty breezy too. Then as we head into Monday, we start off with clouds outside. It's a murky, cool start to the day. As we head past lunchtime, we should see increasing sunshine from west to east. This will allow temperatures to bump up. So no major weather issues. The afternoon barbecues or any observances are looking in great shape and manageable in the morning. It's just going to be cool and gray. Your highs will make it into the 70s away from the coast, 60s along the water on this Memorial Day. So the last couple days of the weekend look like this. Very cool tomorrow, seasonable as we look toward Monday. For the Cape and the Islands, yeah, today was the day for sure, but it's quality family time inside tomorrow, I think. And then Monday, there'll be a drier day, but still cool in the low 60s. Also cool toward the Lakes region. Stormy out there this evening. Tomorrow will be in the 50s. Monday will rebound into the mid and upper 60s with drier conditions. Also, here is subtropical storm Alberto is expected to strengthen heading into tomorrow, and this could become a tropical storm, gaining full tropical characteristics. The center making landfall toward the western end of the Florida panhandle. A lot of the rain will be on the eastern side of this track, and its remnants could bring us some rain as we look toward the very end of next week. It'll take a while to get here. So there's the full seven day. We've got summer warmth for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with highs in the 80s. A little bit cooler at the coast, and the gardens are just taking off across the area. Friday into the 80s as well, the chance of some showers. Those are Alberto's remnants. And next weekend, raise your hand if you're tired of this pattern. It looks unsettled <laughs> next weekend after a really nice week.